All-star action is on the menu tonight. This is Kevin Harden alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. And this place is going crazy. Tonight we present the Foot Locker three-point contest. The pressure is high. The drama is fierce. And the pace is fast. Hold on tight, everybody. There's a lot of tremendous three-point talent in the NBA. And no better place to see that skill showcase than right here, right now. And, and I might be a bit biased, but, but the three-point contest is something I definitely look forward to all year long. Here we go with Damian Lillard. Five racks with the last rack composed of all money balls. Those are worth two points instead of just one. All in all, a max possible score of 34. And 60 seconds to take all 25 shots. Not a ton of time. As soon as one shot is out of your hands, you have to be ready to get off the next. Six. Yeah. Eight points. He has come out blazing. 11 on the board. Money ball, no good. 12 for him. That's 13. Make that 14. Down to the money round. That gives him 18. He's bringing some very nice shooting together here. He racks up 20 points in the round. Boy, he looked great out there, didn't he? Yeah, it was a terrific start. He was feeling it from the get-go. And here we go with C.J. McCollum. And I know he's going out there with the mindset of just relax, have fun, and see what happens. That's a good way to approach it. Uh, the shootout is all about fun. And for the players, for the fans, no reason to put undue pressure on yourself. Four points. Five points. Now. Can't get the money ball. Six. He's up to seven. Two racks remaining. Now eight points. He's got nine. Now he gets the money rack. Now with 11. Not just 13. Up to 15 now. He finishes the round with 17 points. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. And he knocked down five out of the nine money balls pretty good so it's James Harden ready to go makes his first there could only get one shot to fall off the rack two points now three points now with four this is a respectable start. That's seven. Money ball, no good. He misses his fourth straight. Off the mark with five in a row now. Gets the money ball. Eleven on the board. Notches 13. Hits for 15. He comes away with a total of 15 points. Well, a very respectable performance from him there, guys. There were a few ups and downs, but overall, it turned out to be a fairly decent round. Yeah, I'd give him a B-plus for that one. I mean, you hope for more, but it lived up to reasonable expectations. So it'll be Brad Beal here. He needs at least 15 here to stay alive. The door's open. A good round would do it. He comes away with four points on that rack. Five points now. Bad news right there. Six. He needs to finish strong. That's five in a row. He better get it together. Mm -hmm. 
Cannot afford a lapse in concentration now. He's got to finish strong. Can't get the money ball. Yeah, he is cooled off here at the finish. Six more points to stick around. Oh, and uh, he will not advance to the next round. Going to just finish out the string here. Yeah, just not enough. Finishes with 11. Well, I, I didn't expect that score to be as low as it was. What about you guys? Yeah, he missed a string of seven straight shots there, Kevin. Looks like he had a little hitch in his release. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. If he can hit the 15-point mark, he'll stay alive. Yeah, it's going to require a pretty good effort out of him, but I think he's up for the task. No good with his fourth in a row. That's two. Now three points. Trains the money ball. Six. He needs eight points more. Two racks to go. He needs six more points. Up to ten now. Down to the money round. Five more points to stay in it. Twelve for him. He's at 14. 14 points is his total as the round comes to a close. And so here's Fournier now, wrapping up the qualifying round. He knows there's nobody coming after him. He knows the score to beat. He only needs to break 15 points to move on. Here we go. He's got to focus here. He's got to be good. Not great, but just good enough. Trains the money ball. Four points. Five points now. Chalk it up. His fourth in a row. He needs eight points more to stay in contention. eight more points to advance. Can't get the money ball. Seven more points to stay in contention. No good with his fourth in a row. His fifth consecutive miss. No good on his sixth consecutive shot. Stumbling here down the stretch. Well, guys, that's it. He's out of it. He can't make up the difference, Clark, at this time. Nope, too far behind, but he'll finish up anyway. Yeah, and I think he definitely gave it his best. Just not enough in the take there. In the end, it's a 12-point round for him. There was just something off about him in that round. And any time it looked like he was starting to get into a good rhythm, he would just as quickly fall out of it. Lillard's got the top score in the qualifying round. Well, one thing I think we can say is that this contest is there for the taking. It's wide open. There's no clear-cut favorite in the finals here. It certainly looks that way after what we saw in the qualifying round. These guys are very evenly matched. Here we go with James Harden. He's got to improve on his score from the last round if he wants to have a shot to win it. So many times we see the best scores in the three-point contest come in round one. I think the players start to get tired legs as they approach the 50-shot mark in the competition. Yeah, and more than the legs, I think it's also that the adrenaline of the opening stages has worn off. So, so mentally, you could be running on fumes. No, no, no. Comes up empty on his sixth straight. Starting to freeze up a bit. Now he gets the money wrap. And now he's just limping to the finish. Now nine points. He's sitting at just nine points as the round comes to an end. That's far below what he's capable of doing when he's on his game. Yeah, he missed a couple in a row early. Then everything looked rushed and hurried. And before we knew it, he missed nine in a row. And here we go with C.J. McCollum. Eight more points for him to tie it up. Gets the money ball. Six points more, and it's tied. Four points. He's got five. Just two points there. He won't be happy with that. Four more points, and it's tied. No good with his fourth in a row. His fifth consecutive miss. Two more to tie it up. Eight points. Nine points. Hits, and now he has the lead. And still going. Yeah, and that's the score to beat here in the final round. Make that 14. 
he posts a score of 14. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. And he managed to hit four money balls. Not terrible, but, but could have been better. Here we go with Damian Lillard. He was the hottest shooter entering the finals, so he earned the right to go last. And he knows exactly what the target is. He can seal the deal with 15 points or more. One point. Tough rack right there. That's four misses in a row. That's five in a row. He better get it together. He's losing his way here. That's seven misses in a row. Four points. Eight more points, and he'll tie things up. He's up to seven. He's got eight. Mm -hmm. Six more points for the win. Nearly perfect there. Just one miss on the rack. Not just 13. Hits for the win. And a little victory lap through his final shots. And how about a chance to tack on a few more here for posterity? A total of 17 points that he'll take away from that round. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. Money balls so critical to knock down in this competition, and he gets six out of nine. And we've reached the finish line of a Foot Locker three-point contest. All our competitors gave it their best shot, but one man was head and shoulders above the rest. This year's champion, Damian Lillard. He was one chill customer out there. He really kept his wits about him the entire way through the contest. Yeah, and, and Clark, that's the key. I mean, he never got too high or too low. And from all of us here at 2K Sports, we're thrilled to have brought you this year's three-point contest. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg saying so long, everyone.